Hi everyone, it's Miss Shops a lot with another haul. Um, today is shoes and some purses and some miscellaneous stuff. I'm doing this by hand today, so excuse me if there's any shaking. I'll do my best not to make you sick. <laughs> uh, start off first with these Alex and Ani bracelets. Um, this, like I said before in my last video, there is a app, couple apps now. Um, there's Wallapop. There's um, Offer Up, Let It Go, Virage Sale, Five Miles, and I can't remember what other one is. Um, where you can buy and sell stuff. Uh, this is from one of those apps, and she wanted forty dollars for all of these Alex and Arnie bracelets. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, I'll, we couldn't meet up that day. So she was like, you know what? I'll just give them to you for 30 if you come to me. So I went to her and I paid $30 for all five. Uh, this is just a beaded one. I think they're called spacers. Uh, the next is from the vintage line. And it's gray leather with black and silver beads. Here's something that says something vintage. Yeah, vintage 66. Next is a gold hand of Fatima bracelet. And they're all from 2015. I um I had a few and then I got that last one for a dollar. And then these, so I'm getting back into them. Um, the Eye of Horus. And last is a daughter bracelet. I am someone's daughter, but I don't know if I'm keeping it or not. <laughs> Next, we'll do... Okay, this. I thought this was so pretty. Um, it's a vintage antique... Uh, Oh my gosh, I can't even think of what these are now. Okay, the name has just escaped me. <laughs> but anyway, this comes off and I can clean this. It's just got some dirt inside there, but it'll come off. This one was dirty and I cleaned this one. And it's Mother of Pearl. They're so pretty. I forget what... Lamar Le... of Paris. And these were... Seven dollars. These sell for like fifty on eBay. I haven't decided if I'm gonna clean them or keep them as a decoration or sell them. <clears throat> Next we have sandals, my favorite. <laughs> Again, I can only use these for like three or four months out of the year, but I just can't get enough sandals. And honestly, like they just get so banged up so quick. But as always, I love my cream nudes. These were. Now, our Goodwill used to have a color of the week, and it was 50% off every day, but now they only do it one day, Wednesdays, I believe it is. So, the color of the week is only 50% 50 50 off on Wednesday, and I actually found quite a quite a few sandals that were 50% off. So, I got these with the cork wedge and the gold buckle. These were seven. color of the day was blue, so these were $3.50. Here's the other one. Call it spring. I love, love wedges. Um, the next I hemmed and hawed about. I was like, eh, no, yes, no. And at my Goodwill, if you spend, for every dollar you spend, you get a point. And after 100 points, you can get $5 off. So I have a lot of points. But I like to save them for things that I'm not sure if I want to pay for. So this happened to be one of those. These were not the color. These were $9.00. Um, and I used my $5 coupon, so I got them for $4. The Audrey Brook. They're super cute with some jeans or a, a skirt. Love those. Next, I have, um, my best friend, she, every summer has a pair of silver flip-flops, and they just look so pretty. <laughs> And they're so simple, but they just look so pretty. And I, I always love seeing her shoes. So 
Uh, when I can find a nice pair, I buy them. They just look good with a tan, and so these were a dollar ninety-eight. They don't look too worn, you know, the bottom's dirty, but these were a dollar ninety-eight. And again, I disinfect all my shoes, um, Clorox wipes, and um, foot spray, and or you could just do um, a wet, warm, wet. Uh, rag with a little bit of bleach on it just be careful not to stain anything um, next now I know I say I can't wear heels and I can't um, sometimes though I can find a pair that I can handle these were bought on a different day these were from the Goodwill these were five dollars see they mark them two different two different prices five dollars here Seven dollars here. Every time I get shoes, they're marked like two to three different times. Um, but these were four or five, and they were half off, so they were two fifty, and they actually really don't hurt. Um, so I have a wedding coming up, and I thought these would be really pretty. I love them. If not, they're my dinner shoes, and my. Dinner shoes, I can wear to the car, to the restaurant, and back to the car, and that's it. <laughs> there's no walking, there's no dancing, it's just to the car, to the table, back to the car. But I look good while I'm walking in them. <laughs> Next are a pair of New Walk by Birkenstock. These were $5 with half off. These were $2.50. Um, these are so comfortable. And they're usually pretty expensive, um, so I bought them to try. I do a lot of walking in the summer for garage sales and stuff, so hopefully they work. Now here's a quick tip on fake versus real. My cousin picked this up for me because she knows I love designer bags, and I think she paid $3 for it, but, okay, so first off how to tell this is fake before I even open it. There's no R on this. I mean, there's a million other reasons why this you can tell this is fake, but there's no R right here, which is the register mark, whatever it's called, um, patent mark. Uh, there's peeling, real leather does not do that. Um, here's the funniest part. She didn't know, she tried. I appreciate it. Um, There's no E. <laughs> Among a million other things, there's no E. And this is usually a sign of a fake bag. This zipper right here is usually a fake zipper. And made in China, this paper tag, a lot of bags are made in China, not necessarily Chanel, but some designer bags are, and they will not have this paper made in China tag. It may say made in China, but not on that paper tag. Um, I'll probably just give this to my daughter, but it was a good learning tool. So. Next. What did you say? I have this white cream vintage leather purse. It's so cute. It's like a western bag by Evelers. Evel never heard of it but it's so pretty with the roses back. this was six dollars at savers and these are all pockets and they don't clean out their bags and the one day we were looking and there was like five dollars in a pocket always check pockets of jeans um, jackets purses whatever you're buying always check I've heard of so many people finding money in um, jeans that they've thrifted. I haven't found anything but dirty tissues, so <laughs> I'm still hoping someday. Oh, and I think I, I found one time um, some like 50 year old weed. <laughs> That's about it, nothing, nothing. Oh no, I lied, I did find good something good before. Um, it was a pair of Tiffany earrings <laughs> inside um, a wallet 
and they were pretty tarnished but they were authentic and I had to get them cleaned. Next I found this a bag similar to this one. Um, I really like this. I usually don't carry the Dooney and Burks that I find. I usually sell them. I think I might actually keep this one because of the yellow and it just it's it's a super cute spring summer bag and uh, denim with a cinch. And this was $2.98. Step down here. And you can usually tell Julian Burke because they have this tag inside and underneath is the number. But it looks amazing. There's no real wear marks on it. Um, so that was again $3 and that was from Amvets. Next are these Javianas. Probably butchering the name, but these are $1.98. They have kittens and hearts. I got these for my daughter. These were brand new um, for $2. I thought they were cute. Next is Yachi. Um, leather wristlet. And I don't have anything purple. So I just thought that this would be cute. This was um, $2.50. It says Biachi USA, Biachi. And it was perfect size for my phone. And this was $2.50. <clears throat> now these, I took pictures of these before. Um, these I paid... 99 cents a piece or $1.99. I can't remember what it was. And these were filthy, 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 filthy. I haven't been in another video um, that I haven't gotten uploaded yet because I still have to find an editor to get rid of some of the lag in it. Um, but these were, I kid you not, these were disgustingly filthy. Um, I first, now I don't recommend this unless it's something cheap that you don't care about and it's going to get ruined. I haven't had a problem yet, but again, it's um, warning, please don't try this at home. I threw these in the washing machine and most of it, most of everything came out. This one came out perfect. This one came out perfect after it was done. Um, just from the washing machine. This one still had some dirt marks on it. So I made a paste of, um, Oxy, OxyClean, Oxy powder stuff. Uh, that I got from the dollar store. It's the LA Awesome Oxy stuff. And I made a paste of that in water. And I put it on here and I scrubbed it lightly with a um, denture brush. You could use a toothbrush. And it let it sit for like an hour or two. Um, I had a really filthy bag that I let it sit overnight. Rinsed it off and everything came off. Again, I wouldn't do this with a $300 bag, but a 99 cent um, one I would. So these were 99 cents and now they are clean. Again, you know, use caution when you do it. I've thrown coach purses. If they only have a little bit of leather, I've thrown coach purses in the washing machine on light cycle and nothing has happened to it or the leather. But again, please use caution when you're doing it and know that there is a chance that something could happen and I want to be responsible for that. So if it's a cheap bag that you don't care if it gets ruined, go ahead and give it a try. All right, next is this Coach crossbody. There's a little tag right here. And this was $7 from Amvets. And it has the signature print, the sateen snake skin patent and signature again in the back is all signature and this is authentic it has the YKK zippers with a little tassel 
Um, sorry, here's the inside. Most small bags don't have a creed. This one actually does. And let me give you a little tip on creeds too. The new coach bags do not have a creed on the, do not have a number on the creed like this. Um, the new coach bags have all this, but these numbers are not there. It's just blank down here. And I believe there, I only had one new one, um, but I've already sold it before I got a chance to do a video on it. I believe the actual number is in a little tag inside the um, inside zipper, inside um, zipper bag pocket. Jeez, I can't think today. <laughs> um, so, anyways, this was seven dollars, and it looks like it's brand new or was rarely used because there's nowhere inside or outside that bag. Okay, next, this Michael Kors, I forget the name of which one this is, it's a girl's name, Dahlia, or something like that, um, and it has M MK tag here, and the tortoise things here, this she wanted, what did she have, she wanted 60 and I offered her 40 because again I don't pay I pay between 40 40 and 60 a bag and it really needs to be a, I step it with joke um, it needs to be a good bag in order for me to pay that much um, oh, oops. this one did come with the dust bag and it's pretty clean inside. It's a pretty big bag. It had a little wear right there, which does happen to the handles on these types of bags. But for 40 bucks, and this is why I keep my bags stuck, because if not, just <laughs> limp. So yeah, this was 40 and I, I had a girl that I was talking to at a shower the one day and she was like, oh, I'm having a purse party. I was like, you know, I was like, you can get authentic purses cheaper than, I mean, they're paying a hundred dollars a piece for fake bags. And I was like, I have bags I'll sell you for a hundred dollars. Even if I sold this one to them for a hundred, it's better than any fake bag they get. And we both be happy. I make a profit. They're happy. I can buy a new bag, but people don't, I, she actually preferred the fake, so whatever. Now this is a Versio um, electrolysis thing, um, pen. I don't know if it works or not. I will give it a try for $7. It was brand new. Uh, these are pretty expensive, $50, $60, usually sometimes more. Um, so. I will give it a try and see if it works and if it doesn't well seven dollars it's cheaper than a waxing so uh this bag is i thought it was cute um it's canvas with leather handles this was six dollars which it's from a this was from salvation army oh this was from goodwill and the Michael Kors bag was from Craigslist. I just thought this was cute. It's definitely a well-made bag. Um, it's by Christian. Genuine leather trims. Made in Italy. It's got the leopard print tiger stripes. Sorry. I always get my big cats mixed up. And it was $6. I'm guessing this was new. I didn't even notice that. I don't know why that would be there. I mean, it, it's, it's excellent condition. There's no wear on the bottom, so it may very well be new. But it's really cute. Then I got this. Now, if you watch my other video, I got this in a different color. Um, this one is in really good condition as well. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. 
inside is good. And this was four dollars. Back. I love these little clutches. And lastly is this Vera Bradley wallet. It was two dollars. And oh, this is another thing. Please, ladies, check your wallets and purses before you donate them. This one had somebody's bank account number. The last time I had one, it had her bank account number and her ID in it. Um, this one had a bank account number. It had um, some other stuff that she left in it. I, of course, shredded it for them. But gosh, got to be so careful. But this has lots of compartments. And that compartment right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed my haul today. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, share, um, tell your friends. And I'll be back soon with another one. Thanks.